I bet with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. We're on to race number seven now, which will jump at 16.05. It's the Beach Beauty Mile. It's over 1,600 meters. Before we give you our selections, we're going to look at a rerun of number nine for sure that ran on the 13th of September when winning and an interview with Carl Hewitson and Duncan Howells. And we're also going to get the air conditioning turned up here in studio because things are starting to hot up. 300 meters to go. Rainwear comes under pressure. For Shaw's on the outside, now starting to come alive at the 200 meter marker. Bosne down the inside, but For Shaw's gone clear. And For Shaw going to go on to win as this one likes to win by three. Sting Ray up for second. Then came Bosne. Let it snow. Fighting out the minor positions. Yeah, give us Grace another one. Uh... I'll put the blinkers on her so she can help the jock a little bit more during the race because she doesn't seem mid-race, she seems to drop the bit and doesn't travel very well. And I think last time I backed her up too soon, so I'm hoping for an improved run. Uh, for sure, she's a very unexposed filly. She's shown improvement in her last three starts. Uh, she's got the rating to suggest she's got a huge chance in the race. And I think if things go, go away, she'll give a very good account. Well, we've uh, just... Basically, you were hoping that maybe Duncan Owls doesn't say she's going to give a very good account of herself. <laughs> she's going to be hard to beat. You yes. Were, are were you waiting for that? Yeah, I was. I was. You know, Dees, I found some value in this race. Mm. At first glance, number nine, for sure, and number eight, Minogue, are standouts. I do believe that they are. They look very progressive. Let's start with number eight, Minogue, at 28 to 10. Breathtaking last victory. You know, came from well back, drawn 13 out of 14 on that occasion, and absolutely flew. It's got the services of Richard Fourie. It's going to be a massive, massive runner here. Then if you look at number nine, for sure, very, very con convincing win in the last start. Just pulled clear of the opposition, beating Stingray by 3.2 lengths. Now, these two are the principles of the race. Mm. Number nine, for sure, trading at 22 to 10. And number eight, Minogue, trading at 28 to 10. But I've got a horse in this race at 4 to 1 for a place. Yes. That I'm going to be including in all my bets. It's number four, give us grace. Tell me why. Very encouraging comments that they've added the blinkers on the horse now. If you go back on that run on the 17th of September, this horse ran 2.1 lengths behind Columbia Road. Now, this horse was drawn very wide, traveled wide, and still sort of stayed on. The horse did a power of work through the race, still stayed on to finish two lengths behind the winner. You heard from Carl Hewitson, the last run, they, they brought this horse back too quickly. They've put the blinkers... And stretched him. And stretched. Mm. They, now the horse has the blinkers on. Chase Majan knows the horse well. If you dig really deep in the form line, the horse ran 7th, seven, 10.5 seven, lengths behind Mrs. Geriatrics. It obviously is an indication of how highly they rate the horse. And they so, trouble the horse to Khao Teng also. So don't, oh, yeah. don't be fooled by the recent form. Four lengths of African folklore, 3.15 lengths behind Romance in Rome, four lengths behind Secret Identity. For me, four to one, an absolute gift for a place. You're speaking about a place, but if you are suggesting a horse like number four, Giver's Grace, who is the biggest outsider in the field on the fixed odds betting market at 20 to one, it tells me what you think of the race for the exotics. Because you are expecting a result here. I, I, I wouldn't be leaving a horse like this out of the exotics. And I'll tell you why. I've been following the horse for a long time. Yes. And that run, particularly on the 17th of September, you know, I expected the horse to win. Didn't, did a power of work and I said, the next time I'm going to follow this horse. Ran on the poly track and like you said, they brought the horse back too quickly. I think now the horse should be primed 
the horse needs luck in the running. There is question marks for the fancied individuals. That is why I'm going to rather stick with a horse like this. Give us grace at around about four to one for a place, which is the value for me. We are spending time on this Gallup TV preview show, which we don't usually do on 20 to one shots. We give the air time to the more fancied horses in the betting. Uh, the even money shots, the two to ones, the three to ones. 20 to ones don't get that much of air time, but Devon likes this horse, plays four to one, he says at the time of recording. But it is a race where there's quality about the best weighted column yes. is tight between uh, Bomber Girl, number six and number nine for sure. And I'm going with my rule here. You know, if I can narrow it down to a half the field or less than half the field, if it's more than half the field, it becomes a field race. There are nine runners at the time of recording and I can't uh, narrow it down to four horses. And for that reason, I'm going to suggest the field, but no doubt number nine for sure on what we saw last time out. Yes, it was on the poly track, but she made it look very, very easy. She was geared down a long way out by Sean Veal. He had lots of time to pose for the camera. And uh, I was impressed with that victory from number nine for sure. Minogue, I'll have to keep a close eye on race number four, uh, Elegant Act and Elusive Bell. Uh, run and we'll see how that form line holds up because that was a good finish as you mentioned and you can make cases for you know horses like Bomber Girl, Sign of Fate, Bosne, even one smart cookie although still a maiden. Uh, this horse was running on nicely last time out so it's a tricky race. It's the Beach Beauty mile it's over 1600 meters where these three old fillies will take their place. I like the Vons thought process here and trying to find some value in a race that you could get a result. He's picked out a 20 to 1 shot here. Number 4, give us grace and he says repeatedly, 4 to 1, a place. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.